Hey friends, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to lose weight the easy way. You're going to be amazed because you're going to be full and you're going to see that weight just shed off of you. Thank you for hanging in there and joining me. Do you really think you're ready to lose weight and make the commitment to yourself? I have not a diet plan. This is a get healthy plan and it really makes losing weight very easy, but you do have to have a love for fruits and vegetables. Now, if you watched my last video, which if you're going to follow this plan, I suggest you do watch that because that sets you up to know what you need to get into your body every day. And the rest is cake. The cake, that's your snacks. We're going to talk about that. But first, what you want to do is take a look at the macronutrient protein. Protein, you need that for every cell. Your brain needs that to function. So when you wake up in the morning, you are going to get 20 grams of protein. Then at lunchtime, you're going to get another 20 grams of protein. Then at dinner, I suggest you eat a very healthy meal. That's when you can have a full meal. So let's start with breakfast. You are looking to make a fruit smoothie. You can add greens to it. They have so many different powder mixes. And in my next video, that's what I'm going to talk about. The mix-ins. Because the mix-ins is where the most nutrients are. Remember I told you, because of soil depletion, the fruits and vegetables that we get in, we are getting some of those micronutrients and macronutrients, but we do have to supplement. So these rich, dense, nutrient-based mix-ins are going to be part of your breakfast and lunch. So for breakfast, the typical setup for me, but I change around. I have high blood pressure, so I'm working on that. But I like to get the fruit in and uh, the fresh blueberries are just high in water and, ooh, escapee, yum, yum. I like the, the vitamin C through my produce. Bananas are great, potassium. They have a lot of fiber too and they add great flavor. I am working on high blood pressure, so I do oat or nut milk. I really enjoy yogurt and I do use coconut milk yogurt as well. But to get those probiotics in, I like that. Most of us are natural gut flora is not that great. I use about a half a cup, put that in. I also use bountiful beets. Beets are great for people with high blood pressure. And here I found True Vanny plant-based protein. It's a pea protein and there's my bountiful beets. Great to help manage high blood pressure. I also add borage oil because that is just really good for what I'm going through with my heart. It helps lower the blood pressure. But everybody is different and I want to help you manage your health plan but I need to know what you're going through. So down below in the comments, please let me know. I can give you health advice as I am a health and wellness counselor. So here we're taking a measure of the plant-based protein. It's chocolate. It does have a great flavor, Miss Vanny, but I, I, I guess it's the mouthfeel of the pea protein, not quite my thing. This, you get a measure in there and you scoop it up. It has a natural sweetener in there, so I don't worry too much adding anything else for sweetener. But if I do, I tend to use those Energy C packets. So now we're just gonna turn it on. The Vitamix is so strong, I make soups in there. It has this plunger. If you keep the lid on, you can push fruits or vegetables down and it won't interfere with the blades. It's just the perfect measure to get everything down. Tastes so good. You can make enough for two. For lunch, 
Here's a typical setup. Carrots, ginger, turmeric. I love the greens. I have cilantro or cilantro. I've heard it said different ways. That's turmeric. Get that in. And I love this Mr. Juicer. I think that's what it's called, Mr. Juice Man, because it has such a wide hopper. Right away, my little plug in the slide broke, so you see me holding it so it doesn't go through. I have to order a new one. But the plunger just pushes things through if they don't go quickly. The best way to store herbs is in a cup with a little water on your counter. They're like fresh cut flowers. They'll last a little over a week. So I like to put in a mix of herbs. You see that chunk of ginger over there. <clears throat> Again, this is heart healthy mixture. There is a beet behind the glass. Sorry, it's hiding back there. I layer my juices. I put things in in different orders and might start with carrot and then end with carrot. I love this cup because it did fill up to a perfect measure for me. And again, you can do two of these for lunch. My protein, I am going to use a collagen protein because this is really good for your skin. I get this at a health food store here. You can order it online. It's made in New Jersey. So it is USA made. Not that that makes it the best, but it is a little bit better. Mix in one measure. You will be surprised. You can really change this around in so many ways with a little bit of fruit gives a great flavor. When it's dinner time, what I want you to do is pick some of your favorite lean proteins. You're going to start out with at the most eight ounces and then you're going to pair back till you get to six ounces. Remember when you're going through this, your meat is going to be a side dish and you might get used to that. You can eat a lot of vegetables and salad with this meal. So all that roughage that you're getting in will fill you up. If you are vegan, you're going to go with a whole different outline. In this video, we are talking about people who do eat flesh. Now you get to snack in between your breakfast to lunch and your lunch to dinner. You can eat all the produce that you want. I'm going to suggest if you're wanting to shed the weight quicker that you stick with nibbling on your favorite vegetables and no creamy dips. I'm sorry, you're going to have to make some really good oil vinegar dips with herbs and they are very easy. If you do like it chunky, you can use something like pesto. And when you're using these things, not only are you getting satisfied with your snack, you won't be hungry right away, and you're getting micro and macronutrients in. Remember, you need to get plenty of water. When just for proper organ function, you take your body weight, divide it in half, and convert that to ounces. I'm 150. So cut that in half. 75 ounces a day is what I need to get in just for proper organ function. So what you're going to need when you're losing weight is almost doubling that. When you drink a lot of water, it goes through you fast, yes, but it also makes you feel full. Unfortunately, our thirst mechanisms that are in our brain are damaged most of us and most of us when the thirst mechanism goes off what do we think oh i'm hungry so every time you think i need to get a nibble drink water have water next to you all day and i'm going to suggest getting a nice large carry along water bottle and some people say i don't like water 
We'll put lemon or lime. You can also get essential oils and drop a little bit of that in there. The other thing that you can do is use a straw. When you drink through a straw, it automatically, it's magic. It makes you drink more. You might wonder what I have in my water. This is not juice, it's water with one of those Energy C packets. I, I like those, it's not the best form of C, but that's for a whole nother video. So what you wanna do is your smoothie, your high nutrient dense smoothie for breakfast. Nibble on fruits from breakfast getting toward lunch. If your lunch is at noon, stop at 11 and just drink water. Let that satiate your tummy. Then you are going to do a vegetable, not a smoothie, but you're gonna juice. And down below, because this is a commitment, you might have to invest in a few pieces of equipment for your kitchen. But aren't you worth it? I think you're worth it. You can get juicers and blenders to make your smoothies pretty inexpensively on Amazon. I do have links down below this video. So take a look, but you can also go to thrift stores if you're on a bigger budget. Make use of what you can. Ask family and friends. They may have a juicer or a mixer in the back of their closet that they haven't used for a long time. So no excuses. Make this commitment to yourself. Get over those excuses. It's time to get you healthy. If you do no exercise and just implement this new health plan, you will lose weight. But if you want it to go faster, you want to add even more water and you want to add some cardio. This will help it shed off much faster. And you can do power walks. Get your heart rate up for 10 minutes, four times a day. You can do that for, by taking your dog for a walk, for going up and down the steps, or get creative. You could do a lot of different things. Get the heart rate up or go to the gym. Make that kind of commitment. Talk to a personal trainer, and I have those. In other videos, I have interviewed quite a few great people here in Golden, Colorado. You have a pick. I would add that because it's also going to get you heart healthy. Thank you for watching, and make it a healthy day, because you do choose. Ciao.